Theresa May, the UK Prime Minister, has had a couple of difficult days on her Brexit plan. Do you think the EU should go easy on May for now? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And I consider that the present situation uh, increased the probability uh, of not having an agreement uh, in next March uh, 2019. In fact, you know, uh, Paris Your Place uh, was in, uh, against the Brexit. We wanted the, uh, the Great Britain to uh, remain in the EU. Unfortunately, there had been the referendum, but now we need clarity. We need clarity, and uh, as uh, Michel Barnier said, uh, the four freedoms are indivisible. And uh, so I'm not uh, optimistic uh, uh, about the probability to have an agreement at the at the, at the end of the term. And uh, uh, we need clarity and the probability of uh, a hard Brexit, in my view, is increasing. So Britain is due to leave in nine months. In that case, uh, do you think this deadline should be extended? Are you in favor of an extension? No, we need uh, clarity uh, as, soon, uh, as soon as possible. You know, the, the degree of uncertainty in, uh, in the EU uh, as it is today, uh, is, uh, is too, too important. And, and we see uh, in the coming decisions of the uh, institutions, financial institutions present in London, uh, they need clarity. Uh, but I'm sure, and we, we, we see in the discussions we have with them, more and more of them want, want to, uh, to decide to transfer more and more uh, people and teams uh, from London to the continent. We've heard a lot of uh, banks saying they might relocate some staff uh, to uh, Paris. We heard HSBC saying they would relocate mm. 1,000 people. We heard uh, Bank of America saying they'd relocate 400. Also, uh, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, a few dozens, a few hundreds. What has concretely been done, been relocated so far? Uh, we, we have to distinguish between the decisions and intentions. Uh, for the decisions already taken uh, very clearly, uh, 3,500 uh, people uh, will be uh, relocated. It has been decided. Some of them are in the, in the process uh, for the transfer. Uh, but uh, uh, more and more are to come because, uh, because precisely the uncertainties on the, uh, the issue on the, on, the, the Briti on the negotiations between uh, uh, Britain and the EU are pushing more and more institutions to relocate simply to follow the clients. So we seem to be very far from a Brexit, very far from the 20,000 possible relocations uh, from London to Paris that we were talking about just a couple of years ago. No, no, not at all. We, we, we are in the, in the right track. Uh, we had the intention to, to uh, welcome here in Paris 10,000. 10,000 direct jobs uh, transferred from London to Paris with uh, 20,000 or 30,000 indirect jobs. Today, uh, within the 10,000, we are 3,500. So one third. You know, it's a long race, and more and more will come. So uh, we are relatively optimistic. What is very important for us, we consider that uh, with all the measures, uh, fiscal measures on the labor law, which has been taken by uh, this government, is the Macron effect. Do you think that's been enough? Do you think taxes are not still too high in France to attract all those jobs? No, no, France is competitive on, on the corporate tax. The impatriate regime is the most uh, attractive in Europe. Um, we are competitive also with the flat tax, uh, the exemption of, uh, uh, of the wealth tax for the financial assets. No, we are now competitive. We are also, we have a government which is uh, uh, business uh, friendly and things are completely changed. Did you watch the game last night? Uh, that will be very positive for the Paris Euro place because it will increase the confidence uh, of France people. What, if France wins the final, do you believe France will win the final? And yes, of course. Yes, of course. Against who? France. Oh, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it may be. Mm -hmm.